I'm Mike Kelly, and this is my fine associate, Mike Turner, and we're going to give you a brief overview of the NDT, Non-Destructive Testing Group, for Olympus. And as you may know, Olympus is a renowned camera lens manufacturer for a number of years, and we have also progressed into other areas of non-destructive testing, being ultrasounds, eddy current, phased array, and remote visual, and additionally, high-speed camera. So pictorially, these are the industries we serve. Uh, probably most renowned for corrosion inspections, uh, ultrasound in the oil and gas petroleum industry, and in welding. And in the booth today, we have to share with you flaw detectors, uh, thickness gauges, our high-speed video camera, our video boroscope, and x-ray an analyzer. And here's a more, some more pictures of our face array unit. Uh, basically, it gives you a three-dimensional view of inclusions, porosities, and cracks in metals and in pipelines. And in this picture, we depict a, a single channel flaw detector, an EPIC 600, uh, which uses a single channel ultrasound and a single crystal transducer. And in multiplying those crystals and the transducers, we can get a 16, 32, 64, 128 element transducer head for uh, the OmniScan MX, which builds your three dimensional uh, profile how you'd say steel structures, weldments, uh, castings, etc. Go ahead. Hi again, my, this is Michael Turner. I'm, I, I've been covering the advanced products for Olympus for about five years now. And what you see on the screen right now is our phased array flaw detectors. Our phased array instruments are cons consist of the OmniScan MX, MX2, as well as our Epic 1000i. The, what we've incorporated into, into our uh, OmniScan phased array instrument is a weld overlay uh, where you can actually define the weld of your part, your geometry of the part, and uh, view those discontinuities within that, within that geometry. Um, as well as have a weld overlay on the uh, sector scan of, of the instrument. We have to do that. Keep going back and forth, sorry. Sorry, Rod. This next product is an eddy current uh, flaw detector. And eddy current may not be the, the best name for the technology, but it's a hysteresis type antenna probe that when we bring it. Uh, to the material, it analyzes the material for conductance or Siemens. And this is done as aluminum and other metals age, their conductivity changes. And that's what the eddy current unit is capable to do, is to check uh, the temperament of the material and give you an indication of conductance. And thus we'll know if it was damaged over the time of life or not. And the scanner you see over on the right is used for bolt hole inspections for de depicting cracks. I'm just going to stand right here. Uh, additionally, uh, in addition to the uh, phased array side of uh, the Omni scan, we also have what's called the eddy current array uh, module. Again, the whole idea behind Omni is many, many modules. So we have conventional UT, we have phased array UT, and we have eddy current array. So in this case, we have multiple coils of, of uh, eddy current uh, probes with multiple coils in them detecting flaws and discontinuities on surfaces of materials. Some of our biggest customers are aerospace, where they would have a phased array instrument as well as an eddy current array instrument. Go ahead. And additionally, uh, we have a bond master unit, which is a, a sonic device. It's not an ultrasound anymore. It's more in the hearing range of you and I. And we have.
have several different probes, those being a pitch and catch or a, an impulse probe, where we send a signal out and we either pick it up and receive it uh, to get an amplitude displacement. Uh, but, and the necessity of the material is that it conducts sound. And if it is transmissive to sound pulses, sound waves, uh, then we can use this to determine disbonds and say uh, carbon graphite fiber over Nomex honeycomb and other structures that are glued together. And, and that's what the bond master, that's what it does. So. As we take the simple portable versions of the ultrasound, the bond master techniques, and the eddy current, uh, and further multiplying the channels, we get into integrated systems and tube stock, uh, bar inspections, etc. So it's a little bit of proliferation, but we do go right into automated systems. These are just, oh, yeah, I know uh, again, these are our advanced solutions. We're integrating with uh, some of the integrators that we work with. We have several integrators that to use our instrumentation uh, for rotating and integrated inspection systems such as that one you see right there. We also have rotated billing inspection systems. Um, these are done internally as well as we work with integrators uh, on these types of systems. Bar inspection systems, uh, XRF, XRD analyzers, Fox IQ. Uh, tube inspection systems, uh, we also have uh, where you're utilizing eddy current or conventional UT uh, in multiple probe formats on high inline uh, manufacturing situations. Those are Pipe Wizard, uh, that's a field inspection unit that's automated uh, to inspect uh, automated welds on pipelines with uh, phase array Toft, time flight diffraction, and uh, conventional UT as well. The, as I mentioned a little bit ago, the systems instrumentation consists of our OmniScan IX, uh, TomoView software, our QuickScan LTPA, and our QuickScan EC and, and UT units. All of these, again, are integrated with uh, uh, bar inspection systems, our systems group, and or our integrators that we use for, uh, I, I call them a little bit smaller case scenarios. And on the more simplified end of things, uh, the precision thickness gauges, the 38 DL, the 35, uh, we have right around the corner to show you, hands on. Um, and also, what's not depicted here, but uh, in this pipe inspection, we use a dual element transducer, which has a pitch angle to it and is advantageous to depict um, pinpoint cavities in pipes and cavitation. And contrastingly to the dual element transducer in the last picture, we have single element transducers where we can measure very thin walls of coatings, glass, plastic, uh, and virtually many component parts uh, using a single pulse echo uh, type ultrasound. Additionally, this corrosion thickness gauge, uh, what we're showing is a boiler tube. And whether you can realize it or not, this transducer is measuring the inside oxide later that builds up from the magnetite that's produced in uh, industrial boilers. Oh, <laughs> What we've done in Olympus is we've broken things down and in, our instruments down into what we call our portable and advanced. Um, really, it's more conventional and more advanced um, uses of conventional T with phased array. Some of the solutions we have out there right now are weld inspection solutions, corrosion inspection solutions, composite, tube inspection, as well as our full line of industrial scanners. One thing to keep in mind here with Olympus, we 
uh, like to say that we have everything covered from your scanner all the way your instrument all the way to even training for that matter a full value situation for all a weld, some weld inspection solutions consist of the pipe wizard automated UT the Cobra for small diameter piping 875 up to four and a half inch diameter wall as well as our automated weld rubber scanner utilizing utilizing uh, phased array UT, time of flight diffraction, and or conventional conventional probes. Corrosion inspection solutions consist of our hydroform or, as well as our rexiform scanner. You're mapping corrosion on a pipe and or a uh, flat flat area. You're getting, for, for instance, for pipe you're getting ID and OD with the hydroform scanner and the rexiform is fully capable of, of ID related uh, corrosion as well. Tube, inspe tube inspection solutions consist of the, um, the multi, multi scan MS 5800 in conjunction with our, our multi-view software. A significant point about the, the MS5800 is it uses all four technologies, eddy current, MFL, iris, ultrasound, as well as remote field. We have a full line of industrial scanners that um, that are utilized with our products, whether it's a semi-automated single line scan or if it's a uh, fully fully uh, automated scan and or even a uh, semi-automated scan capturing all data with, with our instruments. Uh, probably for better, I'd say 40, 50 years, Olympus has been around the camera industry and uh, we're proficient in video boroscopes and video scopes. And in any NDT inspection, the first criteria is, did you look at the part or did you look at your equipment to see if it was not impaired? And now we further progress to, uh, progress to the Olympus Ultralight. It's a handout video scope using a CCD camera. The innovation here is that the control handle and the monitor fit in the palm of your hand, and it is the smallest video scope on the market. And as you can see, most commonly used for jet turbine inspections. And also, our, we are introducing at this show the TX video scope, which is actually a fiber optic version of the previous scope I just told you about with the CCD camera. But it always happens when you go to do an inspection in a tight area that you have no room to get inside and look internally to it. So the diameter of this fiber optic is 2.5 millimeters in diameter, making a lot of areas accessible that weren't before. Hydraulic pumps, uh, control valves, uh, steering boxes, gear boxes, etc. So many places you couldn't see before, now you have great vision. And of course, smaller hydraulic components. One of the areas not so common to us is in the electronics industry to get underneath IC chips and surface mounted devices to see the small solder connections and then inspect for cracks. Complement all the NDT uh, products that we have. We also have a high-speed video camera for uh, products in motion, and it, it becomes very advantageous uh, to look at high-speed or even slow-speed manufacturing in slow motion. And this camera, these cameras are capable up to a million and a half frames per second. So it can give you a very good snapshot of things you couldn't see before, happening at a very slow rate. So a very good troubleshooting tool. And most uh, predominant applications are spraying, such as uh, agricultural sprayers in the farm field, um, mixing operations, uh, and vats for making medicine as well as production, uh, palletizing, uh, putting products into cardboard cartons, et cetera.
thank you for the allowing us the brief intro. Any questions?